Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Sunday the 20th of February 2022. In today's meal news, it's going to be short and sweet. So obviously, normally on Sundays after a game, I would do um, post-match stats and more uh, comments from the managers. But obviously, the game was yesterday was postponed. So now, I've got one story for you and it's this one. And it's a bit more details about um, what the hell happened yesterday. So this is from the news online. .co.uk is why didn't Blackburn Rovers have under uh, oil seating under under soil heating on a uh, late postponement punishes traveling fans and yeah so apparently they have under soil heating a uh, mills of way fixture at Blackburn Rovers was postponed after a second pitch inspection at 2.15 yesterday we provide some background as to what happened on the strange afternoon at Hewood Park there were 471 Lions fans heading up to Lancashire's Millwall were going in search of their third straight win after dispatching Cardiff City and Queen's Park Rangers at the Den in the past week. Bournemouth's match against Nottingham Forest was called off after Storm Eunice was in full swing on Friday afternoon. The decision announced three hours before kickoff, much to the anger of away fans, but postponing a fixture just 45 minutes prior to kickoff is even worse and gave no fault whatsoever. For the away fans travelling a very long way to get there. The first point to make is that R Rovers did not turn on their undersoil heating before the game. What's that about? Why didn't they do that? Uh, that system would not have guaranteed snow not settling, but it would have given it a much better chance of being cleared. I was on my way to the match when Blackburn confirmed the game was going to go ahead and they would now clear the snow off the pitch ahead of the game. So that was a, the first pitch inspection was at 12, 12 o'clock. Um, with the snow coming down from around 10am surely it would have been helpful to have already been working on the pitch to get as much of the surface clear as early as possible. When I arrived at the stadium at around 1pm it seemed as the fixture would be fine to be played. The pitch looked to be cleared up in the grounds when we were working on it. And you can see it there um, and a bit more from the other angle there as the minutes ticked by the pitch didn't look like it was being cleared as quickly as it could have been and at this point some mill staff went out to help to try and get it cleared uh, the officials chatted to Gary out soon after with the Lions bus very keen to play the game discussions carried on before it was announced a 2.15 pitch inspection would take place the referee and his assistants came out to see how freely the ball rolled with Rowan and his assistant manager Adam Barrett kicking and throwing a ball around to show that this pitch was playable and the ball was not affected by the service uh, it looked to be going ahead when Blackburn goalkeepers came out to warm up the goalkeeping coach it seemed a positive sign but the referee postpone the match on safety grounds for both sets of players there were already some fans from both sides in the stadium the frustrating thing was the pitch looked to be in a playable state and at 2.40 the sun was shining down there were blue skies all around the stadium and the pitch was nearly all green had the players have come out to warm up you would have believed this would have cleared the pitch completely and we would have had a game the officials could not have delayed kickoff the, the officials could have even delayed kickoff by 30 minutes or an hour well, I don't think they can, they'll delay it for an hour. Um, the official should have taken the fans into consideration. Calling the game off late in the day is just not fair on supporters. Um, so, yeah. Why didn't they have the undersoil eating on? You can see all these little patches of, of uh, snow or ice, whatever they are. So they've cleared it, not very well, and there's still lots of um, bits around. But what they're saying is so if the, the players had to come out to do the pre-match warm-up they would have been treading on this that would have caused it to melt and go away and then the sun would have came out uh, at 20 minutes before kickoff so it would have all melted anyway so and it would, would have bloody melted anyway if they'd uh, turn the pre, um, under soil heating on the first pitch inspection was at 12 o'clock it started to snow from 10 a.m. though to turn it on earlier by the time it gets half an hour before the match after they cleared it it was surely would have been good and and everyone's pointing fingers at Blackburn Rovers saying oh 
it was in their interest to have the game postponed. They got so many injuries. And they're saying, oh, no, 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 we, we wanted to go ahead. Well, why didn't you turn the undersole eating on? Uh, that's, I'm not being funny, but they, they should be fine for that. That's absolutely piss take, that is. I didn't realise they had undersole eating. That is an absolute piss take that they had the undersole eating and they didn't even bother turning it on. Well, what are you doing? And... <laughs> Apparently as well. So yesterday, this they put out all this fluff online about oh they they were offering food to the, to the um meal fans. Apparently, some meal fans have said online when they were told by the security to go in to the kiosk and get just help themselves, ask them what they wanted and then would get. They went in there, and the people people beyond the kiosk said, "Uh, we don't know what you're talking about, mate. What are you talking about?" So then they had to go back out, and then they had to, apparently the, the girls who run the coach had to go and get it all sorted, and then what happened was all the kiosk people went out to come out to the meals coach with a shitload of food and just left it with them on the coaches. So... Yeah, it's not as uh, rosy as they were making it out yesterday. Um, this is Blackburn Rovers. What have you done here? This is, even if it wasn't nefarious, it's incompetent. It's, it's not good enough. You won, you were in the Premier League. You won the Premier League before. You're a big club. You were founding members of the football league. You can't not turn your undersole fucking eating on. I know you got taken over by um, some Indians, and it's all a bit Mickey Mouse now. But come on, fucking turn your under fucking sole eating on, and get a fucking game played. This is uh, Absolutely diabolical. And like I said, I think they, sh they should they should be fined for this, for not fulfilling a fixture. And now, probably sometime in April, we're gonna have to go up go up there in the in the midweek and and play against them, as they got all their better players back and they're trying to get into the top two. So there you go, and this is it. So. This is from Kai Bennett. He obviously went up there um, to report on the game for South London Press. And so he's obviously got, got problems with the situation that's gone on. And it's just, it just leaves, it leaves a nasty taste in the mouth all round, to be honest with you. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, Fuck it, we go, we we go forward. We go on. Uh, there is supposed to be a under twenty three game away game at Bristol City on Tuesday, and we have Derby County away on Wednesday. So there you go. Keep coming back to the channel to watch the videos about that. And for today's video, that's it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.